and out of Millville, Minnesota. He lives right here on the farm on an 11 10 miles Renegade Fuels Husker on road ride. He is your number 46, Alex Martin. All right, we're here at the beautiful Spring Creek Motocross facility. Uh, as you can see, the front gate to the property is over there. And I am standing in the doorway of our shop slash the pole barn. Everybody over here fixing the broken lawnmowers and all that stuff. And then we have uh, my brother and I, we have our shop back there where we work on our bikes during the week and all that stuff. We got the workout area over here. This is where we do work during the week. And then upstairs, we got the office. That's where our guy Mikey, he does all the phone calls and the business. And we also make trophies over here. And uh, I'll show you guys the rest of the pole barn out. Guys are checking out some GoPro footage of the press day we just did, so it was pretty fun out there. It's kind of messy right now. We got about 100 different people helping out with the national and all the club members to come down this year and, and help put stuff together to make it a great event. So we kind of got a little bit of a disorganized mess right now, but it's not like that all year round. We're coming from the shop, and, and our, my house is just right over here, and uh, this is where I've been basically grew up here my whole life. I was born in this area. It's definitely definitely a very nice setup. It's good to be home too. This is this is a swing set where I used to play as a little kid with my little brother and sister. So it's still holding up. The tree fell down one one when we had a bad storm and we had to patch her up with a piece of metal. The guy that owned the track before us built it and it's basically been there ever since we've owned it and uh, it's just it's my home I guess. And actually, kind of the, the neat thing about our house is that you can wake up in the morning and roll up the blinds and the windows and just check out the track conditions and see if it's rideable for the day. So it's pretty cool. It's definitely uh, something that's very unique, and I'm very fortunate to have what I have. So. I just got back from second practice and uh, it was a little eventful I would say. I was sitting on the line and, and I went to kick my bike and my kickstarter just broke in half. Went to start his bike, his bike and the uh, kickstarter just snapped off. So we went to panic mode and started bump starting the bike and uh, I almost had a hard time kind of bump starting the mud. <laughs> and then we pushed it back around the start line where there's some hard dirt and uh, got started finally. I got in 11 fastest practice time I think so I mean it was it was kind of damage control almost because the track got a lot faster. I think it went from a 222 to a 216 just in one practice session. It's kind of different at this race because everybody that works here, all the staff, um, like fam family friends are staff. So and I know every all the staff members, so they're coming over throughout the day and, and saying hi, wish me good luck and stuff like that. So that's kind of neat. You now I got a decent gate pick going into the first mall, so prepping for the whole shot. This is your home. Show them who's boss. Show them who owns this place. If you get a big enough lead, you can take a nap at your house real quick if you want to, you know? And now to the starting line, ladies and gentlemen, these are the 250cc Warriors getting ready to take on Spring Break. Millville, you've got 30 seconds to start making some noise. The card is up. It's almost time to go racing. Yeah, first lap together. He always comes from like 20th to top 10. Barsha, Swanepoel, Tickle, and Martin now up to the number 11 spot. So anything can happen there. Top 10 goes to Alex Martin, the local kid. Real low. Lord Paxson lives on the racetrack. Tickle in eight. Alex Martin now moves up into the number nine spot. He's killing it. How about Alex Martin running top 10, running in ninth actually. Got a mid patch start. First lap he was like 21st, but luckily he's really good at passing here and call all the way back up to seventh for overall. The number 46 is Alex Martin out of Millville, Minnesota. On the 1110's mod ride, he finished seventh in moto number one.
The 46 machine is into the number four spot. That is Martin. Martin, now Alex Martin up into the number four ride. Alex Martin from right here in Millville. He has really got an adrenaline charge Honda here today on the 1110 mods. And watch out, here comes Alex Martin, the number 46 Honda. Alex Martin is closing the gap. He is trying to run down Cunningham. He was eight and a half seconds back. Alec is now seven and a half seconds back. Baggett seemed to have gotten around uh, Martin there, but Martin's holding strong in the top five. On that 46 machine, and Alex Martin, and he is running a very competitive top five here today. Seventh in moto number one, fifth here in moto number two.